Okay, now will everyone please rise? Thank you very much. Take a deep breath for me now. <laughs> I was talking to Gabriel, but congratulations to you both. You are here today after seven wonderful years of marriage. That's beautiful. And you're here today to renew your vows to one another. This is an act as ancient as the history of the human race, but it's still as new as each morning. And it speaks of the past and the future, the life of the individual and the existence of the community. Now, in presenting yourselves here today, you both are performing an act of faith, really, in each other. A faith that shall continue to grow and mature and endure. But if you should have your love set on such faith, I want you to ever cherish the hopes and the dreams that you now hold. I want you to stand fast in hope and confidence, believing in yourselves, but most importantly, believing in each other. In this spirit, you will create a partnership which will radiate to one another and give new hope and strength for any and all who see it. Now, the two of you both wish to be united into this estate, Will you please turn and face each other? Or renew your vows once more, I mean, I should say. Here, I'll take your flowers for you. There you go. While well, holding onto your loved one's hands and looking into each other's eyes, Gabriel, I ask you the most important question of the day. After seven wonderful years of marriage, do you still take this beautiful woman as your lawful wedded wife? I do. Likewise, Miriam? Do you? I didn't even get to the question. <laughs> well, she knows what she wants there. Well, that's perfect then. To seal this pledge, <laughs> we proceed with the exchanging of vows in which you both are to renew. And Gabriel, you'll be first. If you can please repeat after me. Miriam, today Miriam. I renew my vows to you. Miriam, today I renew my vows to you. And I promise to be true to you. And I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I vow to love. I vow to love. To honor. To honor. And to cherish you. And to cherish you. Completely and forever. Completely and forever. Perfect. Alright. Will you please repeat after me? Don't be too nervous about that either. Take your time. Gabriel, today I renew my vows to you. Gabriel, today I renew my vows to you. And I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I vow to love. I vow to love. To honor. To honor. And to cherish you. And to cherish you. Completely and forever. Completely and forever. Now, I know that you both exchanged rings seven years ago on February 14th, 2005. So the rings that you're wearing, I just wanted to say a little something special about them. And see, really, rings have naturally come to symbolize eternal love. Let's see those babies. Within the union of, my, of body, mind, and spirit. And those rings, they're made of precious metals. And like your love, they shall never fade. They will never tarnish. May those rings be a symbol of the promise that you both made seven years ago and are renewing here today, as well as a reminder of your mutual devotion. A love which, like those rings, it is complete and beautiful and endless. Now you both 
join each other behind the candles that are lit up on the table here. So I'm going to stand directly behind the table and go ahead and turn and face each other for this moment. Get close. Pretend like you like each other. <laughs> These candles have both been lit to represent that very day where you both exchanged vows on February 14th of 2005. And what they symbolize is your two lives as individuals. And that means these two lives, they're two distinct lives. They're each capable of going their own separate ways, but today, just as seven years ago, you must light these two lights into one. So at the same time, go ahead and take your own candle. Be careful, though. I want you to light the center candle together, thus symbolizing your two lives joining into one flesh. Now you both may turn away and blow out your own candle. Go ahead and turn away from each other. Now, it's a little smoky, but go ahead and place your candles back. Now this one light, it can never be divided. Just as your lives shall never be divided. And may this one light radiate and continue to be a witness of your unity together. Go ahead and join me once again in front here. Get close now. You know the rules. Now, 1 Corinthians 13, it says, Love is patient. And love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in the wrong, but instead it rejoices in the right. And love bears all things and believes all things and hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And if there is anything that you remember of this very moment, just always remember that it was love that brought you both together here today. And it is only love which shall make it a glorious union. And by love in which your commitment shall endure. You still have what remains the most honorable title which may exist between a loving couple. And that's the title of living as one. And finally, out of all of the hosts on earth, you two have come and have looked into each other's faces and you have seen your uniqueness, your oneness, May you continue to live faithfully together, performing the vow and covenant made between you. And may you ever remain in sympathy and understanding, living according to the ways of truth and beauty and love. Will you please rise? Now Gabriel and Miriam, Inasmuch as you both have consented to renew your vows today and have witnessed this consent before this company, you have each pledged your faith one to the other. And I sell this pledge with the rings that you still wear this very day. It is my honor to hereby declare that your vows have been renewed and you may continue living life together as husband. And why? Okay, well, you're used to this part. You may kiss your wife. <laughs> when God has brought together, let no man put us on there. Congratulations to you both. Just making sure she still remembers. <laughs> Take his arm and let him go. We're introducing to the world once again. Mr. and Mrs. Martin.